Hi guys, this is a new gadget that I've just bought. It's a Foscam IP wireless slash wired camera. Um, I won't go into the ins and outs of the details on it because I've noticed there's loads of really good reviews on there. Um, I'll put credits on later on to a couple of uh, people. One I think is called Awkward Hamster. Um, his videos are just great for showing you the setup and thanks to thanks to that guy, he really helped me out there. So yeah, I've got the model. 918, uh, I think you'll see Awkward Hamster's got 910 and a 918, so like I said, just go watch his videos because he just explains it far better than I can. So I'm not technically minded here guys, so one thing you do need is this. <laughs> Seriously, if you're technically minded you can, you know, you can just whiz this, but oh, I scratched my head a few times. So anyway, let me just show you what I've kind of got going. So. I've managed to get my netbook wireless, obviously I've, I've got it wireless to my router and then um, I've got the camera wireless, but that's where I had the problem. At first, I, the camera being wired, as in one of these wires, to that, to that, and then that, to this, yeah, so everything wired up, was fine, I could get it to work, but when you start taking wires off and going wireless, yeah, I'd put all the settings in for this, yeah, into the Foscam, you know, administrator thing. So I'd, I'd got all the settings right. It was just dead slow. I was going from wirelessly like 54 MBS to like 2 MBS. And that wasn't enough bandwidth for, it to, to everything, for everything to work. So anyway, I slept on it last night and then tried again this morning, 5 o'clock in the morning I was doing this because it was obsessed with getting this working and I don't know what I've done but I've got it working yeah so camera is wireless to the wireless router obviously the PC is wireless um, it works okay and I can do other things as well because that was my concern I couldn't like then go on YouTube or eBay or whatever because it would just slow right down and I was like oh, what's going on this is no good having this fantastic looking camera but then I can't do other things like go on eBay, YouTube, watch movies, whatever. Anyway, forget all that. I've, I've sorted it out now. So I'll show you where I'm going to mount it. Uh, I'm going to go up there. So I can view, just basically I want to get a view of the car, view of the door and people knocking at the door. And then our second car which just parks just on the curbway there. So I figure putting it there um, should be fine. So yeah, let me just quickly show you this. I, re I really like this camera. Um, oh, this is great. I mean, you move your little cursor. We around <laughs> it goes. I'm just noticing it's Pierre and Judy on the iPhone here. Um, so uh, you can change this, but like I say, um, there's a guy called Awkward Hampson. He goes into all this. So. Obviously, your frame rate's now going to increase because you lowered your resolution, or whatever. I think that's technically right. But okay, same work with on. Just, just you know, watch this guy's video. He's re he's really good on it. But yeah, so I'll show you where I'm going to mount it, and then we can give it a test. Okay, so this is a bracket, and obviously, the area that I'm wanting to cover is kind of like this. I want to cover. Um, the pathway, the car, the doorway, so I've just marked that here. The bracket works where um, it swivels round and the Foscam can even sit in different positions on the clamp. So it's, it's pretty good. This is wood <clears throat> for me, so it's no drama getting a good firm secure hold. Okay, so this this is what I've got, and um, this is the final results for the time being. The first thing you notice is that I've got a set of blinds there, and I'm seeing reflection in there, which I'm not particularly happy about. In an ideal world, I'd like the camera mounted outside, but um, do you know what? I don't know if I need it to be clear enough that I'm going to be worried about that. The purpose is kind of served. I can see people at the door. I can see pa people passing the car um, and I can cover the view of the second car 
that goes out into the road and I've got a good shot of what's going on in the neighbourhood. Uh, this is when I start picking up the um, Winder Bay. But I actually don't, um, I do well obviously it's not perfect, but I don't mind because I can still see a little bit there. So, um, yeah, this is a cheap option. I mean, I got this camera off um, eBay. You can you can really pick them up from like thirty pounds. Um, the thing I like as well is you can turn the um, infrared lights on and off. One of the things that I will have a problem with is um, when I turn the lights on at night. You won't pick them up now. I'll get a halo effect because the lights are going to be shining on the glass because remember I've got this indoors looking through double glazing um, I did a test last night actually and I switched the uh, infrared lights off and actually there was enough kind of moonlight um, to see what I want to see anyway so I'm okay with that I'm um, obviously about to flip the image um, if you see just down there flipping mirror that's what it's actually looking like so you can hear it just I just flick on that flip and it, it does what I need so yeah I'm quite I'm quite happy with that and the sound on there as well but obviously this the sounds gonna be no good because the cameras mounted indoors but um, I can't remember how you do the sound now oh neighbors leaving oh my god <laughs> I can sit here all day. <gasps> Where's he going? <laughs> oh my God, what am I, has my life come to? I'm going to be sat in front of this all day long, watching the neighbours. Right, that's it, guys. You've seen enough. Like I say, there's a guy on the YouTube channel called Awkward Hamster. He's great. Just just go watch his videos because he inspired me to um, to do this. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks, bye.